afternoon. I'm here with Wadasan. He is the project manager for the iMeve project. Yeah. Um, the iMeve is, is uh, Mitsubishi's innovative new electric vehicle. And right. Wadasan, if I understand this correctly, is this Mitsubishi's first uh, production electric vehicle? Uh, exactly, true. Yes. So tell me some of, some of the basics of this vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, some of the basic uh, specs, the uh, uh, horsepower, the or, or kilowatts, mm -hmm. uh, range, uh, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, this is a real uh, first vehicle for the mass production. Okay. And we're planning to launch such a vehicle uh, almost the uh, middle, uh, middle of next year. Mm -hmm. And uh, this uh, horsepower is a uh, uh, 64 horsepower. Okay. Uh, and the uh, maximum speed is 130 kilometers. 130 kilometers. So about 80 miles an hour. Exactly. About. And the driving range is uh, 160 kilometers. It's a uh, 100 mile for uh, uh, Japanese 1050 mode. Okay. If we, we can drive such a US highway mode, it takes maybe 80 miles. Right. 80 miles. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, one thing uh, uh, one thing I've noticed about the uh, about the eye in general about the eye in general, not just the eye Meve, is that it's a very innovative, unique package. It's exactly. a very yeah. small uh, footprint, but uh, appears to have a very large interior. Mm. Um, mm. Now, compared to vehicles like the Smart, uh, how might this vehicle be? Uh, how might this vehicle compare package-wise? Um, as you can see, it's a very long, long wheelbase, mm -hmm. 2,550 you know, uh, millimeter. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see uh, there's a big enough space for four adult people inside, right? Right. Good enough in the space. And this is a completely different. And you can see there's no battery space. Right, right. So some automakers have the sort of huge battery space, especially rear seat. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, there is no space. The reason why is, you know, we adapted the, such a huge battery underneath of this floor from here to here. Okay, so the, so the entire battery is uh, underneath the vehicle. Exactly. Right now we have, um, you know, we have a tremendously, uh, tremendously large infrastructure for, for petroleum, gasoline and diesel. Right. But it's a little bit more difficult to, uh, uh, you know, find places to recharge an electric vehicle. Mm -hmm. How do you see overcoming uh, the infrastructure problem for electrics? Uh, we are planning to uh, set up the such a uh, charging station. Mm -hmm. it, especially at uh, this moment, the combustion engine can only use the uh, heavier stand. Mm -hmm. But for this is an electrical vehicle. Yes. We are able to charge for instance a shopping center or you know, library or a station, whatever you want. If such a you know, government or some local government we can provide the infrastructure, mm -hmm. we are able to charge everywhere we want. That is a completely different scenario. Right. And charging is not so uh, expensive. Right. Yeah. So, what are some, we have a drive and an drive, eco setting. Eco and the B. Uh, driving is a usually driving mode, okay. but uh, and if we, we shift to the echo, mm -hmm. uh, in case of the echo, the power, uh, uh, especially output, is come down the one third level. Okay. And if we prone the uh, pedal more strongly, the uh, p power will be increased in two third. Right. The reason why we adopted this such an echo is an you know, uh, ordinary customer put in a pedal more strongly. Right. But, uh, th this is an electric vehicle, very quiet. Very quiet, very silent. Well, I mean, it's, it's very quiet and very silent, of course, but, uh, uh, you know, the thing has a lot of torque. It has, yeah. seems to have no trouble keeping up with traffic. Very strong torque, right? Right. From the beginning of the start. Now, this is very cool. And if we, you remove the pedal, the needle will return to the blue line. Right. right? That's the rechargeable so, condition. So that's the, the power will return to the battery. The regenerative Re uh, regenerator. Okay. Re regenerator. And if you use an echo or B, B mode is uh, it's same same function the uh, engine brake. Right. Engine brake. So, so if you're going downhill. Down to here. If you use a B, it's the power uh, is returned to the battery more strongly. Right. Right. Wadasan, could you tell me about some of the amenities in this in this car? I noticed it's a, uh, um, you know, it's not exactly a uh, very basic vehicle. It looks like it's this car is actually very comfortable. Uh, yeah, right. It has it seems to have a, a lot of features in it. Can you tell me about some of the uh, amenities in um, the eye? This this vehicle they adapt to this such for instance the air conditioning mm -hmm. or heater or the, or the ordinary function. Right. But the important thing is if we use the air conditioning. 
uh, unfortunately, the driving range is, will be reduced. It depends right. on the ten percent or sometimes the twenty percent. Twenty percent. It depends on the outside temperature. Right. right? Actually, Wadasan, this is actually my second time driving an I, but the mm. but the I that I drove previously was the uh, was the uh, standard gasoline yeah, right. uh, gasoline model. Mm. Um, one of the things I actually found most appealing was yeah. the interior package. This is, uh, I think, as you pointed out before, very long wheelbase. Yeah, uh, but, and the important thing is that the gr gravity of the such a big center position to come down the 75 millimeter, 75 millimeter come down. Therefore, uh, this big is more how the st st stiff stiffness, stiffness and good roll. Right. When do you intend to uh, release this into the U.S. market? Uh, yes, we are developing such a U.S. version, but and uh, probably estimation timing is uh, 2010 or 2011. Okay. Yeah, it and depends on the market the demand. And will this and will it be the uh, will it be based on this current eye or a future generation? Uh, of future it? modification. Okay. Okay, so Wadasan, I would like to thank you very, very much for your time. Yes, yes thank you very much. Um, I appreciate. Thank you very much. This was a very, very enjoyable experience, and I wish you the best. Yes. Thank All right. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you much. Thank you so much. Our baby. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.